Huh. Mm, it's crazy. He doesn't like me. Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen. We're gonna be working to build an amazing Christmas menu. So we'll start with a starter. It's blending our Christmas recipes together with our Polish series. So I'm gonna show you how to make a bit of a contradiction, some Polish Greek fish. Let's look at the ingredients that we're going to need. All right, first I'm gonna prep all of my veggies. I'm gonna start by slicing my onion really finely. Now I'm gonna get my leek and slice it really thinly. And the celery. For my carrot and celeriac, I'm gonna shred them, but I'm lazy, so I'm gonna use my food processor today. So I'm just gonna trim down my celeriac a little bit so it fits down through the shoot of my food processor. And I'm just gonna shred them away. I was there with some little big parts, so I just finished these by hand. I'm just gonna chop up my parsley. I'm gonna try to separate the stalks and the leaves a little bit. Alrighty, with all my veggies prepped, we can move on to the fish. Alright, with our fish, all we have to do is basically season it a little bit and then give it a bit of a coating of corn flour. So I'm just gonna get my corn flour into my dish and then I'm gonna salt and pepper my fish. Today I'm using cod, but you can use any type of white filleted fish. Now that everything is nice and seasoned, I'm gonna go and bread it. You can shake off any excess. You just put it to the side. It's very simple. Okay, with my fish already, I'm gonna go and fry it off a little bit. So I'm just gonna put some oil and heat it up in my pan. And I want this on a medium to high heat. So let's go in with our fish. I want to cook this on a medium to high heat until the fish is nice and golden. All right, we're done with the fish for now, so let's put together our sauce. I've removed the majority of the oil that we use for cooking our fish, and I'm also gonna remove some of the debris used in a paper towel. All right. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of extra oil. I'll heat it up to medium heat and then I can cook down my onions. With my onions, all I want to do is sweat them down. So on um, like a moderate heat, I'm gonna cook them for about five to 10 minutes and I'm gonna add some salt to help them out. Okay, it looks like my onions are getting nice and translucent. So I'm gonna start adding in a few of our other ingredients. First, I'm gonna go in with my celeriac. I have a mountain of carrots. So I'm gonna add about half now and then see how we're getting on. I'm also gonna add in my leek and my celery. Okay, everything looks like it's gonna be reducing nicely, so I'm gonna add in the rest of my carrots. And then the rest of my ingredients. So I have some spices here. I've got some bay leaf, sweet paprika, allspice, dill, oregano, and basil. I'm also gonna go with my parsley stalks and my tomato concentrate. And I'm gonna mix that all together really well. I'm gonna go in now with my white wine. I'm gonna give that a chance to cook and for the alcohol to evaporate and then I'm gonna cover it up and let it cook on a low to medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, let's cover it up. And I'll see you in about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, it's been 15 minutes, let's have a look. Everything looks nice and soft. It's almost perfect. I'm gonna add some of my fresh parsley now. And mix that through. But also, it looks like it's a little bit drier than I would like, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And this is pretty much done. So I can take it off the heat and then we can assemble our dish. All right, you could serve your dish as it is, but I'm gonna do one extra step which is gonna make it even better. I'm gonna put a layer of my vegetables in an oven-proof dish. I wanna flatten it down a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in with a layer of my fish. It's a little bit like plain Tetris. Okay, and then I'm gonna top it up with more of my veggies. All right, and now this can go into the oven which has been preheating to 160, 170 degrees for about 20 minutes. All right, my timer just went off, let's have a look. I think it looks great. Uh, this is a dish that you can actually enjoy either hot or cold, so you can make it the day before, 
put it in the fridge and it does kind of develop a little bit more its flavor as it's, it's sitting. Let me cut it up and try to get a slice out. There it is. That's our beautiful Polish Greek fish. All right, it looks amazing. Let me give it a try. It's so good. The fish is so delicate and flaky. The veggies are so full of flavor. It's all so juicy and moist. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a nice and light dish as well. So it's perfect for a starter. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not a big fish eater, but this dish is absolutely fantastic. I love anything you can make ahead for Christmas. You're gonna be running around trying to get everything ready, wrapping presents, whatever it may be. So if you can take some things on release in advance, perfect. I love this recipe also. It's kind of hilarious because even though it's called Greek fish, it's nothing to do with Greece. I don't know why the Polish consider it to be Greek, but there you go. If you enjoyed this recipe, be sure that you give me a big like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss out on any of my upcoming recipes for the most amazing Christmas menu. If you tried this dish or any of my other dishes, make sure you post them on Instagram and you tag me. I would love to see them. If you've had this dish before, make sure you leave me a comment down below as well about your thought of my version of it. And if you do anything different, this is very much a family recipe. So I love to see your take on it as well. With that, I'll leave you for this video and enjoy. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss any of my upcoming... Oh, no. <laughs>